How's it going gang? It's a final render here and welcome back to Fallout 76 Permadeath. This is part 4 of this video and we have just cleared out the Morgantown Airport. That was quite a big battle and we actually took quite a lot of damage at one point. At one point we very nearly died. So we had to be really careful in future and not get too cocky because if we die that's it. We can't get ahead of ourselves. But while we're here we do actually have some cool stuff. We can do some advanced responder training. Ooh. Ooh, this probably is going to be lame, but let's give it a go. I mean, it'll be good if you're a new player, but I'm not a new player. So let's go and see. We can go and do that right there. And then we can learn a bit more about making camps. Oh, okay. Well, it's given us XP. So maybe we should do it. I think we've only got to go like around the corner for this. I might be wrong, but let's go check it out. Let's go check out this holotape here. And it is a volunteer training camping 101. It's like that vault in Fallout 3, isn't it? Just listen to that holotape, he tells you a little bit about camps and stuff like that, and it directs you to Mr. Fluffy over here. Hello, Mr. Fluffy. What are you going to tell us to do then, Mr. Fluffy? Oh, hello. While we were listening to that robot speak, we came under attack. Oh boy, oh boy, okay. Hopefully that robot will help out a little bit. Oh, that was a good shot right there, like John Wick that guy. Hello. Oh, hello, hello. Pistol. Pump shotgun, sorry. Bad time to be over encumbered, right? Eh, we're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. No need to panic. We're doing fine. Let's see if we can molly that guy. There we go. Good stuff. Ah. Well, I completely missed what the robot was telling me about. Because <laughs> we're completely over encumbered. Maybe we should uh, pop down our survival tent and drop a load of our junk right there. Yep, there we go. That was like 20 pounds cleared out. Fantastic. And there's probably a bunch of other stuff we can just put away right now to scrap later, isn't there? Like that... That shotgun, the uh, Somerset Special, I'm going to be honest, we're never going to use this thing. I mean, it's cool to have an anti-armor gun, but, you know, it's level 5 Magnum Revolver. I'm probably not going to use it. But then again, it does actually have quite a bit of damage. No, we're not going to use it. <laughs> we're going to put it away and use better weapons. How about that? So this little side quest has brought me back into the airport where I need to look up some camping kind of resources here. We've got like a little program right here. That's pretty good. And then we can actually get some schematics for the camp in here. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, it does appear to have respawned a load of the uh, Scorch though. I'm actually playing this directly after the uh, previous video. So a lot of it is still cleared out. Oh man, that should have that should have counted right there. But oh well, never mind. Let's just go and grab it from this terminal here. I doubt he's going to run in while I'm in this terminal. He says famous last words. <laughs> there you go, right there. <laughs> you literally must have heard me. Take that, you sausage. All right, without getting hurt too much. <laughs> what have we got here? There's a safe control here. We can definitely do that. And then we can grab the uh, schematics quickly. Yes, I know I'm getting shot. Stop it. Headshot right there. See, you're not even tough, guys. You're not even tough. That's the thing. You're just getting in the way. <laughs> and now we're going to give the uh, holotape to the Protectron. Okay, not a problem. We can do that. And now we're going to build a generator at our camp. Okay, sweet. Not a problem. Uh, is that the only thing we have to do? Because we could just move our entire um, our entire camp here, actually. It's probably not a bad idea in the grand scheme of things. The only problem is I put my tent down there. And you can't have them next to each other, can you? Oh, well. Let's go find a place for the camp. Oh, we have discovered the Toxic Valley. And oh, hello. Prison marshals right there. Ooh, do we want to fight these guys? Whoop, we don't have a choice in the matter. Okay, these guys are actually going to be tough. Ooh, I should not be here just yet. All right, let's wait for some to come nearby. Crouch down a little bit. They might actually lose interest if they don't see me after enough period of time. Nope, there's... <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we just got to fight them. We just got to fight them. Okay, they're not that bad, actually. They're not that bad. They look scary, but they're not actually that bad. Ooh. I should go for a bit longer range. There we go. Excellent. <laughs> okay, uh, that actually was far scarier than, than it ever needed to be. My God. Okay, even the cats run up on the desk to, say, to look after me. It's okay, but it's okay, mate. <laughs> Do you ever have that? You like playing games and then the cat jumps up when you sound a bit scared? You know, it's okay though. Alright, so let's go and uh, put my little camp down. We're just rolling with the uh, prefabs actually, because, you know, that's nice and easy to place down pretty much everywhere. So we've got to place down a generator inside our camp. I'm going to put it right there. 
Oh, and that's all it was. Just build a generator when you can. Oh, that was a pretty easy one then. But yeah, I like this little uh, prefab. You know, the wooden shack. It looks good. It looks good. What do we get for uh, completing that tiny little side quest then? We got a lot of XP for completing that little side quest. So that's totally worth it. And by the look of it, it gave us silver pocketed lining. Ooh, it's an endurance chess piece. Okay. It's already got pocketed on it. And I believe we also learnt the plans for Shadowed, didn't we? Okay, we might actually want to work with this and actually use this chess piece for a while. You know what? We're also going to put some lights in here. It's getting a bit dark, don't you think? You know, I'm not going to necessarily build this place up too much, but it'd be nice to, you know, have a decent kind of place. You know what I mean? Let's see. Let's go and have some signs and stuff like that and some pretty decorations. You know what we could do, though? We actually could get an ally in here. We actually can get allies, so that's a pretty nice thing. You know, we have got the cooking stove here, and we've got Solomon. These are obviously rewards from the previous season. Let's go with Solomon, actually, because he can, like, heal me up and stuff like that for caps. And also, we actually have a store inside our camp then, as well as just simply the fact that we'll actually be able to get the, um, like, companion bonus. You know, when we go and sleep in a bed, there'll be a companion bonus. There he is, Solomon Hardy. Hello, mate. How you doing? I suppose we might as well check out the extra advanced training we can do, seeing as that actually got us quite a lot of stuff, didn't it? A training exercise for a patrol exercise. What is this one here? Oh, this isn't going to get us to do the friggin' one inside the town, is it? Oh, I certainly hope not. What's that really annoying one where you got to escort the robot? So listening to our holotape, what we've got to do is go and just gather supplies around the Morgantown Airport, which is totally fine. You know, I thought it was going to be when we have to escort Steelheart around Morgantown. But no, not that, thankfully, because I, frankly, I find that entire event very obnoxious. Okay, <laughs> I was going to say, but let's do some cool sniping now. But then I had no bullets in my gun. Boom, right there. Nice little headshot right there. I am getting a bit more confident. Now we're starting to be able to actually drop things fairly easily. And that's exactly what we need, you know. We need that reverse difficulty curve to kick in to where the longer we play, the easier things become. We just got to be very careful that we don't get too cocky. If we get too cocky, then we're in serious trouble. Like this right here. Little bit too cocky. But, you know, hey, I can shoot at least. Well, sometimes. <laughs> I can't shoot when I need to, though. All right, so let's go see what this supply cache is. Heal myself up a bit with some healing salves. I don't actually like the healing salves I'm using because when I hit H to heal myself on the keyboard, I want that to be a stim pack, not a healing salve. So I generally might just get rid of my healing salves because if I'm crippled and I need to quickly use a stim pack, I'll use a healing salve instead. And that's obviously no good. That could cost me my life. So here we go. That's that safe opened up. And what's in there? We get the next patrol tape. Woo, level up right there. Okay, so we're just listening for holotape, and we got a, a little skirmish and a level up. Fantastic. Level 9. Okay, are we safe, though? Yes, we're hidden. Okay, so let's go and check out this level, then. What have we got? Uh, I'm thinking we might want to get serendipity now. Oh, but then, oh no, 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 no. We were going to get perception, weren't we? Because we were going to get that rifleman perk activated. We could even get another rank if we just wanted to double down on it. But then again, it's diminishing returns on rifleman. You know, because you've got rifleman, master rifleman, and expert rifleman. The first rank always gives you 10%. And then it's diminishing returns after that. So you're better off just having one of each rank. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. But uh, what other kind of things have we got to pick? Any new cards? Makeshift Warrior. So we can actually get better melee weapons. I'm probably not going to be using melee weapons that much longer. And we got good with salt. The cat is licking the microphone. Please don't do that, but thank you very much. Uh, no decent new perks there, really. So maybe we will just go and rank up an older perk. Or just get something new entirely. Let's see. I mean, I've already got Hacker right there. That's a good one. Uh, let's see. Hard Bargain could be good if we need to sell some stuff. And uh, besides that, though, there's nothing too exciting at this level. Yeah, not really. All right, tell you what, then. Uh, we'll just get Lockpick, then. We'll just get Lockpick, because that's just a quick and easy one. And it might come in handy every now and then. But for now, we can pop Rifleman on. There we go. Now we've got Rifleman and Concentrated Fire. The build is slowly going to start getting a bit better now. Oh dear, I'm cornered, I'm cornered. Oh, got to get out of there. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Scorched are actually leveling up 
pretty much the exact same rate I am. So they're always going to be a bit tough. I mean, I suppose that's a good thing. There's quite a few. Do I have any grenades or anything I can quickly equip? Oh, no. No pausing time in this, of course. What's around here, then? Hello, mate. Oh, hello. Whew. I told you shotguns would be really good in the early game, didn't I? I haven't even got any shotgun perks. Nice. Whew. So the next objective is in this little hangar over here. Patrol 4, medical sensor. Man, this is actually quite a long little quest. But hey, it's good XP at the end of the day, I hope. So last objective is in the air control tower. This should be okay. I mean, I don't think anything spawns in here, but let's just... Be careful. Oh, I'm just getting flashbacks of like when I played Call of Duty Warzone. Oh, God. Going up those really tall apartment buildings. <laughs> See, I'm down with the kids, aren't I? All right. Use this terminal. There we go. Okay, so that was the last one. And they gave me an auto stim Raider left arm. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's go take a look at this arm then. And, of course, we've probably got some XP for that as well. But this arm here... So, five ballistic resistance and two energy resistance. Versus three and five. So... It's probably as good in terms of resistance, but it's opposite. It's got more ballistic resistance. And normally I would never take auto steam. But you know what? I'm going to for this specific challenge. Because if I die because I don't hit the steam pack in time, that armor may save my life. So that's pretty cool. And did I get anything else for doing that? They normally throw like a bunch of water and stuff for you, don't you? 16 bobby pins. Okay, that's nice. What about XP? Okay, good amount of XP. Genuinely worth it. Let's shoot him in the head. That was also genuinely worth it. Right, so now that that's done, we can go and do the stuff for Biv, can't we? So to trigger that, we need to head over to the train station. So how about we do that? So this is what we're after. These are some of the things which actually give you some of the early quests. You know, there's the Sheep Squatch one, which does lie in low. We're not going to be doing that for quite a while. The Shelter one, which we've already done. And this one, which leads to the kind of college frat houses. So we can head over there. And we can start doing the stuff for Biv. Now, these are actually fun quests. There's a lot of, um, I believe there's ferals in this one. And we actually got to go into Morgantown, which is also full of ferals. So, that's a whole different kettle of fish. You know, the Scorched have ranged. And we can deal with the Scorched, so we should be fine in there. But you know what? It is close quarters when we get into the fraternities and stuff. So, we've got to be really careful. But this should be a nice, easy sort of XP for us. Source of XP, even. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> Here we go. First feral ghoul. Now, I know what you're saying. Final render, feral ghouls, they only use melee, so you should use guns, right? Well, yes and no, because the ferals, yes, they are melee only, but since we don't have any silenced guns, it might be an idea to deal with them entirely with the machete. And the machete does have the serrated edge, so it is a little bit more powerful than a regular machete, but I think it's still a rank 1 machete. We might need to build a new one. Let's wait for the numbers to appear. They've got very low perception for the most part, but I had nowhere to hide, so he just charged at me. They are very, very weak, though. They really don't do much damage. Honestly, ferals shouldn't really be too scared of them. Not at this stage, anyway. Oh, hello. There we go. We've got a couple ferals here. All right, let's uh, back off a little bit. Let's see what directions they're going to go in. I do have a mine here, so tell you what. Let's pop a mine down and then shoot one of them. Okay. So are they going to come towards me? Whoop, they're going to run straight past that mine. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. I knew they were fast, but my god. <laughs> that could have been planned a bit better. But hey, we're alive. So it can't be that bad, right? <laughs> here's the um, here's the frat house, by the way. So I've got to go over here and get ready to party. Woo! I mean, university life in the UK is probably very different to what it is in the States. I mean, maybe that's just movies like American Pie and stuff like that, but... It always seems just a little bit crazier in the US, you know? These university students in the US know how to party. Let's go. What an insane party that's been going on here, bros. You Okay. <laughs> Let's see what was happening then. Oh, hello. Did I just hear a bug? Oh, no, maybe not. All right. So if we start to look around, we get some more ferals in here. We'll probably just uh, roll with the shotgun here. We get this, the Vintage Nuka Shine. Ooh. Now, the Vintage Nuka Shine has actually got a new version coming out soon in the next season, I believe, which is pretty cool. But anyways, why don't we read this terminal and see what is up? So these guys got all totally wasted, man, on like this here Nuka Shine. So why don't we give it a drink? 
and get ready to black out. <laughs> okay, there's a, a massive brawl now, if I remember correctly. Nuka Shine obviously gives you much more unarmed damage. We don't actually have any unarmed weapons right now. But we do have an optional objective to clear out the party before it crashes, man. But uh, I don't know if you get anything extra for doing this. But we might as well give it a go, right? We've got a nice amount of shotgun ammo still. There we go. That's everyone cleared out. Okay, so we complete the optional objective. No idea if that gives me anything. But you know what? We got a lot of kills and that was good fun. Now let's just sit here and friggin' party hard, yo. Rah, spring break! Spring break! Woo Nuka Shad! Woohoo! Oh, what was... What did I drink last night? Oh. Where am I? <laughs> Legitimately, where am I? Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm still in the forest. Okay, so that's good. What the hell happened here? <laughs> uh, I love these little strange scenarios you can see. Two people, like, shot each other on the toilet? Let's drink some wine, you know. That'll kill my hangover. Uh, where am I then? I'm all the way down here, by Flatwoods. That's fun. <laughs> Okay, so read the Nukashan label in my inventory. At our Alma water stands a boy, grey and cold. The steps behind him are the first threshold. Around the corner, stood, study the street. Just to the left is the place where we meet. There you can stain your own skin with ink. But find your own back door, and we'll get you a drink. Okay, so what does that mean then, that little poem? It's essentially telling us where the Nuka Shine speakeasy is, which is such a cool thing, by the way. You know, the whole idea that there is a little secret speakeasy inside Morgantown is such a cool thing. And it also unlocked us the sentry bot helmet. Either that or I just was carrying a sentry bot helmet. Okay, so let's head back over there, over to Morgantown. Yeah, I'll use the five caps to fast travel. We need to fast travel as much as possible in this where we can, because that's, you know, safety, you know? And also, I realized I've got this cranberry cobbler. Like, I'm pretty certain I made this, but did I not eat it? The cranberry cobbler gives you extra XP. Like, 5% extra XP for an hour. I really should have taken that sooner. But uh, by the look of it, I don't actually have any grenades, so... Do we really want to do this? I mean, yeah, I kind of do, don't I? <laughs> I kind of do. Uh, why don't we try something like this 44? Because there wasn't any ammo with it, that's why. Okay, well, let's uh, hit him with some sniper shots then. That's one dead. I mean, at least they line up, right? Line them up and knock them down. All right, swap weapon now. Swap weapon now. Thank you. And that's why you go with the hair trigger on the shotgun. <laughs> Until you get the powerful receiver, go with the hair trigger. Because the hair trigger will save your skin many times by having that faster fire rate. Big Al's Tattoo Parlor. Here we are. This is where we need to go. Because the uh, poem is talking about, you know, studying the street. You know, around the corner, study the street. You know, that's obviously the university. And just to the left is a place where we met. There you can stain your skin with ink. Obviously, tattoo. Parlor, find the back door, and here we go. Ah, search for information on the Nuka Shine. Oh, I love this place. Look at this tattoo parlor. It's so cool to have like all the robotic tattoo needles and stuff like that. Would you get yourself a tattoo by a robot? I mean, maybe by like a automatic computer program, maybe. But then again, I've never had a tattoo. I'm not a tattoo artist. There's probably a lot of human intuition going into it, I expect. You know, artist interpretation and stuff. Ooh. Look at that. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Absolutely love this place. I want to come here. Seriously, uh, add the like the next E3 and stuff when people can actually meet up in public. Bethesda, there better be an actual Nuka Shine bar. You know, I want you to invite me to E3 and set up an actual Nuka Shine bar. That would be the best thing since Jesus on toast, I think. And who's this in here? Hey, it's the party boy Biv. Hello there, matey. How you doing? <laughs> I love Biv. I mean, everyone says they love Biv, but when was the last time you went to go visit Biv? Hmm? When was the last time you went to say hello to Biv and go do a daily? Hmm? Go visit Biv. He misses you. And he deserves better. <laughs> I absolutely love this guy. Alright, so we've got the first part of the Nuka Shine ingredients. Okay, so you need five corn, five razor grain, five wood for fuel, uh, two boiled water, and a Nuka Cola Quantum. Ooh, okay, we've got to find out what the missing ingredient is by opening this terminal. Restrictions on the supply room. Yep, okay, so we need to find a password, which I believe 
means we actually need to go to one of the other houses, I think, to reset the password. So let's go. While we're doing this quest, though, we should probably grab all the ingredients we need to actually make the Nuka Shine. Uh, we need to get some corn, and I believe there is some corn over by these farms over here, or maybe it's like just over there. You can definitely get some. Like some people actually nuke Morgantown in order to get Cobalt Flux, which I believe comes from corn. So that's pretty good. Also, Mute Fruit, I think, also provides Cobalt, so you can nuke the uh, train yard and get lots there. Anyways, we're not going to be doing any nuking for a long time, so let's not talk about that too much. But somewhere over here, there is a farm which I do believe has corn. Is it this one over here? Uh, yeah, this is it. It's got a little bit of corn and some razor grain as well. So, go grab this corn right here. We also need five razor grain. And razor grain is also here. I think I saw some razor grain. I might be imagining it though. Or is that all corn? Uh, no, this is razor grain right here. Razor grain is generally quite hard to see you know, in the base game. I mean, once you pick it, it's a bit more orange. So, it's a bit easier to see it. But, yeah, Razor Grain genuinely quite hard to see. I remember for the longest time playing this game for the first time, I'm never finding Razor Grain. And look at that. We got a score reward. Isn't that fun? Show my finished the season months ago. Anyways, so, what else did we need? We also needed wood. And I think we needed a quantum, didn't we? I don't think we have any quantum. Some more ferals up in here. We're starting to run low on shotgun ammo. So, really got to be careful with that, actually. It might be an idea to try to find ourselves... A semi-auto rifle. <laughs> so in situations like this, we don't have to rely on the shotgun. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so we did a good job there, but my god, we're using a lot of the shoddy ammo. Here we go. Come at me, lads. Come at me, lads. Come on. There we go. Got the majority of them hurt. Oh, he actually crippled him. Oh. That was going to be really cool because I was going to finish him off with one shot, but I totally missed, you know. Story of my life, you know. I think it's going to be cool, but I end up just doing a wet fart. But here we go. Here's the next one, which is this one. I forget the name of this house, but uh, yeah, let's head on inside. Well, they've definitely been making the Nuka Shine here. Look, they've got a like, little still set up and stuff like that. And there's even an actual brewing station here. The new crafting bench they added with this. Because this actually was a uh, an expansion to the game. This wasn't something which came with the base game. It was one of the very first bits of decent DLC we got, actually, in the first big content wave. Because there was a long time before they actually added, you know, new content to the game. But when they did, they added a lot of really cool stuff, including this. So, very, very cool. There's even a magazine there. Live and love five. Talk yourself sober. What does that one do, I wonder? Uh, plus two luck whilst under the influence of alcohol. Okay. Well, luck's not actually going to be that useful for me right now, seeing as all my other specials are low. But there is a small guns bobblehead there. 20% damage with ballistic guns for one hour. That is a very, very useful bobblehead. We'll definitely have to remember we've got that. Because that could save our skin. 20% extra. It's awesome. And there's a note here about the supply room. Which gives us the password to get in. And then we can find the rest of the ingredients. Now, the only problem is... I need a quantum still. And I haven't seen any around. I actually might, <laughs> believe it or not... Have to go see if the robot vendors at the train stations are selling a quantum... <laughs> I know that's bad, but I might have to do that. I don't remember where any quantum spawns are. Here we are then. I've got the password, Biv. Don't you worry, mate. Oh, my good dude. How you doing? Right, so let's enter the password, which is shine. Open that door. Fantastic. So what's in here then? We've got the rest of the recipes, which is three nuclear material. And what do you know? There is some nuclear waste right there. Mm, door locked me up inside. Well, there actually is all the nuclear material we need in here, which is really good. Uh, we need to gather some wood, makeshift batteries have wood in them, I believe. Oh my, they're very, very heavy though, I seem to remember. But uh, we still need to get that quantum. So we actually got to go do a little bit of exploring and stuff, but hey, you know, that's alright. That's what we do, isn't it? It is a survival game after all. And to get a quantum is telling me to go all the way <laughs> to the frigging Nuka-Cola factory. You know what? I'd just rather scavenge around myself. Thank you very much, game. Even if that means doing something else first. <laughs> I'm not going all that way just for that. So does this dude sell any quantum, I wonder? Let's go take a look. Oh, he does not. Okay, we're just going to have to, over time, just go to all the various little spots where I know you can buy quantum and hope for the best. Ooh, there we go. I've just discovered all well orchids because I am heading to the Nuka Cola factory because I haven't found any quantums yet. And I got ranked up to level 10. Ooh, that's a big level right there. Very big level indeed. Let's get somewhere safe. 
and see what we can pick. Let's go take a look at level 10 then. So, we've also got a perk up pack. Okay, let's check this out. This will be the last time we get a perk up pack every two levels. Okay, we've got another rank of concentrated fire. That's really nice, actually. We'll definitely use that. What do you call a porcupine love affair? A murder-suicide. Very funny game. Alright, so now that that's done, what do we want to get? I mean, we could go and put another rank into luck so we could get serendipity maxed out. That's pretty good, I suppose. But then again, what cards have we got that's genuinely useful? We got those ranks of crack shot, but we're probably never going to use that. We could get another rank of concentrated fire, but I don't really think we need it. Typically, one rank is fine. You know, yes, it technically is better to have more ranks, but I don't think you need it really. Not in the grand scheme of things. Uh, I think we might do that actually. Yeah, I think we might um, go get another point of luck and then put another one into serendipity. That might genuinely save my skin at some point. So let's go put one into luck. And I think we already have another rank of serendipity, don't we? Uh, yep, this is all we need. Okay, so this should put it up to the maximum rank. There we go. And now we can just pop it back on. Excellent. So now we've got max rank of serendipity. That's one thing I really, really wanted when going ahead and doing this. Getting that maxed out pretty soon. So that if we get into very serious trouble, it will save our skin, hopefully. Looky here, the giant teapot. We made it. Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, very cool location for Giant Teapot. Is this a real place? Giant Teapot. I've always wondered. But it's a very cool place, nonetheless. Hmm. Powering up Poseidon. Yeah, I don't think I will. I don't think I'll do that. <laughs> there it is, people. The Nuka-Cola factory. I really shouldn't be here. I really shouldn't, but I kind of have to be here because I don't remember where a quantum spawns. I mean, I could look it up. I could, but I feel as if that would be cheating a little bit. So let's just go in, grab a quantum and get out. And hey, you know, I've discovered map markers and stuff for later. So that's good, I suppose. Okay, I really shouldn't be here, but it's something that's got to be done. Let's find a quantum and get out of here. There's lots of ghouls. Really? There's lots of ghouls. And in the basement, I believe there's a Wendigo. And that'll be our first cryptid of the game if we find that thing. And I really am not in the mood to face it off with that. Hello. Right, nice damage there. Still low on shotgun ammo, so I'm using the older hunting rifle. Also, this does the most damage now. You know, we've got the rifleman perk, so this is what we're after. We'll have to come here again quite soon, I expect, with the overseer as well. So... That'll be good, you know, to know where some of the things are. Get a quick refresher of the places layout and stuff. That's the basement down there, isn't it? Down there, I think that's where the Wendigo is. Hmm. There is a quantum, though. Oh, you tempt me. You tempt me, Satan. All right. Uh, do I just dare jump down? I do have a stealth boy. We could do that. But I'm also going to favorite this magazine. here. Not that one. Uh, I'm going to favorite the bobblehead we've got. So... If, if we come into contact from the uh, Wendigo, I've got that bobble head on my hotbar ready to go. Okay, so let's stealth boy it. Head on down. I'm fine. There's my quantum. Oh, it's got some nice armor and stuff like that. Uh, nah, should probably leave it. But uh, Wendigo doesn't appear to be here. Fine by me. I am totally fine with that indeed. Okay, let's get on out of here before the Wendigo sees me. Hey there, Biv, how you doing? I got the stuff for you, but I tell you, it was crazy because I had to run really far to go get some cola and I had to go get some razor grain and there were like ghouls charging at me and stuff and it was like super cool. How you doing? Anyways, let's make up this Nuka Shine. All right, so we actually unlock all of the things now we've used one of these, but here we go. Fermentable Nuka Shine. Delicious, I'm sure. And then we need to go and drop it into the fantastic fermenter. And there's a warning on this one. Warning, experimental equipment. Since Nuka Shine is selling out so quickly, Lewis is working on a flash fermenter to age it faster. It's not ready yet, so for your own safety, please do not touch unless you are Lewis. I'm serious about this warning. I nearly lost an eye, and I wasn't even operating it. Judy. <laughs> That's fun. So yeah, um, you could just wait for it to ferment, or, you know, you could use the flash fermenter. Boom. 
I think I broke it. Anyways, we've now got our Nuka Shine fermented, and we can give it to our favorite drinking buddy right here, Biv. Come on, Biv, stay still. Do I smell me and Nuka Shine? You don't smell anything. You're a robot. Or does he? I don't know. Interesting question. Ooh, there we go. All right, so now we've unlocked the dailies with Biv as well, but that completed the Wasted on Nuka Shine quest. So now we can actually start grinding for dailies and stuff if we need experience. I don't know if we'll realistically do that in this run, but you know what? This has been pretty cool. We got the Wasted on Nuka Shine done, and that's a nice easy quest to get done. And I think we're going to call this video a quits here. Everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. It's been a really good one. We got some cool stuff done. We did lots of cool stuff for the responders to get some XP. We've explored some new locations. We've killed a lot of things, leveled up quite a few times, and we have done Wasted on Nuka Shine. So I can't wait to see you guys in the next video, where hopefully we'll do something even cooler. What are we going to do? I'm not certain, but hey, let's enjoy it because it's going to be fantastic, and I'll see you around. Bye-bye, gang. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you to all of our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. Special thank you to our level 3 YouTube members, which currently consists of Psycho Girl, Katrina McKenna, and Raven's Roost.